Now, I do have, indeed, the great pleasure of conferring an honorary doctorate on a man who has devoted his life to understanding and protecting one of America's most precious natural resources, the Florida Everglades. While many are called visionaries, Aaron Heiger actually is one. Decades before there was widespread awareness that the unique Everglades ecosystem was in jeopardy, Mr. Heiger was pioneering methods of analyzing changes that were taking place. After graduating from the University of Miami in 1959 with a degree in industrial engineering, he joined the U.S. Geological Survey as a researcher studying pesticide residues in fish, animals, and plants in the Everglades National Park. His work led to the development of the first applications of aerial photography and remote sensing techniques in hydrobiological research. As Mr. Heiger's expertise grew, so did his responsibility. His influence was felt nationally and internationally as he contributed his scientific knowledge to organizations that included NASA, the U.S. Justice Department's Remedy Committee for the Everglades, the U.S. Geological Survey's National Water Use Committee. He was active internationally as well, participating in water management, hydrology, and conservation workshops in India, Mexico, and other countries. In 1992, Mr. Heiger became the USGS liaison with the South Florida Water Management District and other state and federal agencies. In this capacity, he developed a comprehensive program that brought together hundreds of organizations in 70 projects dedicated to Everglades restoration. This work created the scientific foundation for today's ongoing effort to preserve and protect an irreplaceable national treasure. The U.S. Department of Interior has conferred both its Meritorious Service and Distinguished Service Award on Mr. Heiger. In recognition of his dedication to one of the most important causes of our time in his monitoring and mentoring of countless students, scientists, and faculty across five decades, I take great pride in presenting the Honorary Doctorate in Humane Letters to Aaron Heiger. I have actually personally seen this project. It is the largest restoration project ever to take place in the history of the world. And joining me in placing the doctoral hood over Mr. Heiger's shoulders is Dr. Nicholas Allman of the U.S. Geological Survey. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon Aaron L. Heiger the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, Dr. Heiger. you want to be, and find someone 
that will share this dream with you. I'm going to tell you about my first day at work with the United States Geological Survey. I was to evaluate the effect the oil companies had on the ecosystem in the Everglades. The oil companies were not successful in their exploration for oil. We were guided by a parked helicopter. There was no GPS to guide us. The ranger and I were in a half track and our half track got stuck in the oil mud hole. The ranger and I were covered up to our necks in muck. The helicopter was hovering above us. The pilot instructed us that we would drop a line, he would drop a line, and pull us to safety. As he pulled us up, our clothes were sucked off of us. <laughs> he flew us to a ranger facility. We were hosed down to remove the muck. We then could enter the building and shower, but we had no clothes. Uh, they gave us raincoats to wear home. I was supposed to be at home for dinner by 6 p.m. and now it was 11 p.m. and I had no clothes. <laughs> Just the raincoat. What was I going to tell him do to me? What is my married, if we had only been married a few weeks. Um, when I, when I walked in, Francine screamed, <laughs> but she believed me. <laughs> and um, I want to thank all of you. Um, keep your dreams, and you will be successful. Thank you. just met one of the greatest men that will ever walk this campus. <laughs>